All right, so let's look at uh, this, um, the, uh, the syntax of the, uh, of the URL that we're going to be uh, using. Right? Uh, so presumably what we want to be able to do is, is map uh, these, uh, these URLs so that it will allow us to uh, navigate through a data model that, uh, that we want to expose. Right? Uh, so for instance, if, uh, if you uh, have a, perhaps a, um, a, uh, you have a faculty uh, that uh, is uh, associated uh, to, to a course, uh, and a course uh, might have um, uh, multiple modules, and that module might have uh, multiple sections, uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, having a um, uh, having a, maybe a uh, a, a many-to-many -many here, uh, maybe a one-to-many here, and so on and so forth. You would like to be able to uh, map that to some URL. Uh, so where where you, you so so the so the idea was to, that um, uh, th these URLs, the syntax would somehow allow you to navigate the entire data set. Okay. Uh, so 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 an idea was to. Uh, 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 allow you to start at, at some root, right? Uh, then refer to a particular entity that of interest, or in this case might be the, the faculty, right? So it would be uh, slash faculty, okay? Uh, and the, the idea was that uh, uh, if, you, if, you, if you refer to a particular entity, right, and you didn't specify any um, uh, unique identifier, it must be that you're referring to the entire collection of, of all the faculty, okay? Uh, and, uh, and, 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 and you could you would be able to do multiple operations on this, right? You might be able to, you might want to create a new faculty, right? You might want to retrieve all faculties. Maybe uh, uh, you want to delete all faculties. You want to update all faculties, right? Uh, if you don't specify any particular faculty, you, you're talking about operating on the entire collection of faculty, right? Uh, so, so uh, uh, since this is going to be a uh, URL and, uh, over uh, an HTTP uh, connection, uh, you have multiple methods that can operate on, on this URL. You might be able to uh, uh, generate a post, uh, and, the, and the interpretation of, of doing a post on a faculty uh, URL is that the, 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 the interpretation is that you're trying to create a new faculty. Right? Here's a, uh, you're, you're trying to add to this to this collection a brand new uh, faculty. If instead you are doing a get, uh, then um, then you, you you're retrieving all faculty. Since you're not specifying which, you must be uh, referring to all faculty, right? If you're if you're doing a delete, uh, then that might be interpreted as removing all faculty. Uh, perhaps that's a, that's not a a use case we want to support, a, uh, or put. Uh, presumably, that would mean that you want to modify all faculty. Uh, maybe we got we want to give all faculty a raise. Um, uh, so, so again, so since you're not we're not specifying anyone in particular, we are operating on the entire uh, data set of the of the faculty. Uh, you can you can then uh, add additional specifiers, uh, as in perhaps you don't want to work with with all faculty, but instead you want to provide uh, some uh, unique identifier. Uh, that specifies one particular faculty in the in the entire collection, right? Uh, so now the interpretation would be that if you're posting uh, a, a faculty, uh, well, that would make no sense, right? You're, not, you're trying to create a faculty that already exists, uh, so presumably we don't we don't allow that. Uh, get a faculty with a particular ID. Uh, presumably you're retrieving that one faculty as opposed to all the faculty. Uh, maybe maybe the uh, the faculty query with no ID might return maybe an, a, an array of faculty, uh, and that, that might return just a, a summary uh, of, their data, of their data, maybe their first name, last name, uh, username, email, perhaps, that's it. Right? But uh, if we ask uh, for an individual faculty, it, it, might add, it might return a whole bunch of other things, right? Uh, you know, you know, how, how long they, or, or, or some more metadata about, about that particular uh, faculty. Uh, all right, so, so, so uh, addition to this, there might be multiple other things that the faculty uh, might be associated with. So a faculty might be associated to a, to a course. Maybe they, they author uh, a course. Uh, or maybe they, they teach a particular section of that course. Right? A, um, or maybe they wrote uh, a books. Right? Or, or they have a whole bunch of other things. Right? Uh, so depending from here, you can then navigate down to any one of these. Right? So you could, 
If you want to look at all the books that this particular faculty wrote, you can look at books. Okay. Uh, since you're not specifying any particular book, then it must be that you want to see all the books within the context of this faculty. Right? Only the books for that faculty. Uh, since book is also another entity, you should be able to also navigate book. Since he, this book has no, has no uh, context, you must mean that you are referring to all the books, right? every single book, uh, plus an individual book if you want to look at the details of that particular book. Um, uh, uh, or if this, this might be that uh, if this is a uh, made to many, uh, where uh, a book might be authored by multiple faculty, you go both ways, right? You would say book two, three, four, four. Who wrote it? What faculty wrote those books? Right. This is, this would give you all the faculty uh, that were that, that were associated to that particular book, right? Uh, or here it says all the books that the faculty. So if it's a made to many, it allows you to go both ways. Right. And, uh, and, and posting, posting to this would create a new book and associate it to this faculty. Right. We, create a, we create the relationship of uh, the foreign key of this uh, book uh, referring to the primary key of the, of the faculty. Right. Or if you're doing a mapping table, or whatever you're implementing, uh, it will allow you to uh, retrieve both of them. Uh, all right. So, so keep going. So if you have a, here's a you have a course. Uh, these are all the courses that uh, the, the faculty might have authored. Uh, and, and then this is a particular course. Uh, and then that course might have multiple modules. Right? These are all the modules in that course. Uh, and then a particular module. Uh, so that's a particular module. Right? Uh, or uh, you can keep going. This is, a, this is a section in that module. Right? And, then, and, what, and, and so on and so forth. Uh, this, this, again, allows you to navigate the entire data set, right? Uh, and, uh, so so this, this, uh, this uh, technique of, um, of, 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 of navigating uh, a data set, right, uh, is, uh, is referred to as a RESTful or REST uh, uh, web API, um, uh, um, which means a, a resource state transfer, right? At any one moment, I'd like to be able to retrieve what is the current state of that resource, right? And that I can, I can, I can uniquely identify what the current state of that resource is, right? I can just copy and send it to you, and, and it's, uh, it'll always be the same as long as I have that uh, that that uh, that URL, that unique. And they're just like a static piece of text or a static HTML file, right? It's a that is the state of that file, right? That I can uniquely identify anywhere I am with that uh, RESTful. Um, uh, URL, okay. Uh, and with with the with the uh, with the combination of of these these uh, these uh, these methods that you use to operate on these, right? To, to delete, uh, to put, to, to get, to, po to post. Uh, now now typically, uh, get as the name suggests is is for retrieval only, right? It's for read only. Maybe you, you retrieve some data, uh, whether it's XML or JSON. Uh, a REST doesn't doesn't necessarily uh, impose any particular format, right? Um, uh, the the other ones are post and and put. Post and put typically um, um, uh, 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 need or, or require that that not only you identify uh, the collection to which you're creating or the the collection, or uh, you're also providing additional additional data uh, as part of the transport. Right, because you are creating a new thing, right? So as part of the body of the HTTP request, you would be providing an object that represents the new instance that, that you're inserting. Okay. Uh, whereas put, typically you are you are referring to, uh, typically you're referring to a uh, since you're modifying, presumably you're modifying something that already exists, right? So so you would need to provide uh, not only the data, the new data for that thing that you're modifying, right? <laughs> Uh, but you also have to provide the ID of the existing uh, instance that you're that you're modifying, All right? So post would would need the ID, but put would need the ID, right? Uh, and uh, and get and you can go both ways. You can you can do a get on a collection and you retrieve all uh, uh, as an array or or collection, right? Uh, or or if you provide an ID that that particular instance of that record uh, and, and delete. 
uh, typically would, would require an ID because you're removing that one record. Right? You're, not, you're not removing the entire collection commonly. Right? Make sense? All right. All right, so let's, uh, let's try and implement a couple of these. All right, so let's, uh, let's play around with that. Oh, no. Why is it logging, logging me out? <laughs> 